Right, hi guys. Time is 20 past eight. Just gone. <laughs> right, I've just come down. My hair's still a bit wet. Uh, just came in the front room to get my phone and my selfie stick. There you go. Pull the door to, keep the boys out. There they are. They're ready to go up the garden. There goes Snoop. The sooty's down here beside me. Come on in. Let's get the boys up the garden first. Right, hang on, Snoop. Just turn that radio off, please. There's good boys. You are so good. You are so good. Right, come on in, Snoop. Come on in. Out you go. Good boys. Off you go. Go on, off you go, Tiddles. Just make sure the gate's shut. Yeah, gate shut. It's still quite mild outside. It's not cold, cold. I have put a little card on just to keep my arms warm. I've got my um, one of my vest dresses on and a little um, grey card just to keep my arms warm. But it's lovely. It's really nice. Right, you know what's going to happen, don't you guys? There you go. You've got the back door there. You've got it covered. Let me just slide the camera back a little bit. There you go. Right. Good. Monday's gone. Done and dusted. Uh, <laughs> Got horrible Tuesday to go yet. <laughs> uh, today was really nice weather wise. Where's that back door? There you go. Weather wise, we had a beautiful starlit morning this morning. So I went out with my boys nice and early. It was a, it was like a ceiling of stars. It was absolutely crystal clear, not a cloud in the sky, no moon, just the stars. It was absolutely gorgeous. So we had a walk this morning, me and my boys. Uh, got home about five. I think somebody might be pushing the door. Might be sooty, I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, had a lovely walk. The drive to work was good. Um, got there, no trouble at all. I went Newmarket way this morning, uh, tried something different. Um, Newmarket's marginally longer than going the cross country route I do, but it tends to be, I don't get held up in so much of the traffic when I get to Cambridge, because I come in a slightly different route. So I tried that this morning. And I breezed up to Cambridge, but as soon as I hit Cambridge, I got the usual queues. So that was normal. <laughs> uh, work, um, not too bad. I had um, a couple of jobs. Uh, one was a traffic, and the other one was a uh, Lexus, uh, uh, RC Lexus uh, sales car. So they were really lovely. The, the Lexus is fantastic, but you've got to have deep pockets to run it, guys. It was a five litre V8 engine. I'm thinking, whoa, I bet that doesn't do many miles to the gallon. <laughs> So, yeah, I did that. Oh, here we go. There's Snoop. Snoop's the winner. City's close behind. Right, let me shut the door, guys. Oh, right. Let me get the apple pies out, guys. Oh, boys are ready for their crusts. Here we go. That's that. Um, the run home was a nightmare. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. I got stuck coming out of Cambridge. Um, took me back... I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to get out of Cambridge. And then I got part way back to a place called Six Mile Bottom and I ran into another queue. <laughs> and that was another 12, 15 minutes in that queue as well and it just ruined it. So I didn't get home till six o'clock. So I left at half four, got home at six. So that was a long run. So I'm gonna vary my route tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not coming back that way tomorrow. That was an absolute pain. So you never know if you're doing the right thing. That's the problem. You pick your route and you commit yourself. And then when you get stuck in that queue, you keep thinking to yourself, oh, I shouldn't have come this way. I should have gone another way. <laughs> never mind. It is what it is. I was speaking to my sisters this evening or messaging them. We were messaging each other backwards and forwards. And my youngest sister is working in Ipswich at the moment. And she made a comment that the traffic in Ipswich was a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> and I did say, I sent a message to her. I said, well, Lucky you don't work in Cambridge then because it's a nightmare every day in Cambridge. Right, guys, are you ready for this? Right, my boys are ready. Right, okay. Okay, sit down, please. Both of you sit. Snoop, sit. Thank you. Stay. Stay. Yes, good boys. Right, the boys have got their crusts. Put that there. So, other than that, it was a fairly normal Monday. Yeah, breezed it. It wasn't bad at all. Really enjoyable. Um, tomorrow's horrible, horrible Tuesday. <laughs> so the assistant uh, service manager keeps telling us she doesn't like Tuesdays, not at all. <laughs> so yeah, right. We get the custard guys. Which is that one? Um, lots of lovely messages from you guys. I haven't been able to read many of them because I've been. I was busy at work. I I put a couple of videos on for you, but the last one I only just got on before I had to leave because I was in a rush to get get out of the garage and 
get going before the traffic built up too much. But <laughs> I might as well not have worried because I <laughs> still got stuck. Um, so yeah, it was a good day at work. Went nice and quick. Weather-wise, it was really nice. Uh, but coming back, I drove through a place called Keddington, which is just outside a village, uh, a town called Haverhill. And the roads were really wet there, so they'd obviously had a bit of a downpour there. But when I got home, the roads were dry. So there were some places that did cop a um, shower or two today. But um, in Cambridge, it was fine. And here, it was fine. Everything was dry. So yeah, some places got a bit of rain. Right, I'm just going to nuke these. That goes in there. And right, that's on. Uh, right, I need to boil the kettle for my later wash, my uh, plate wash later on. Myself, please, please. Thank you. Right, there you go. Myself. Lovely. Uh, I won't turn that on now. I'll turn it on later when I come to do the washing up. Um, yeah, that's good. Myself. Right, we're going to get a spoon, put this in the recycle. And my spoon, there we go. Right, it's getting very close to November now, guys. This time next month, I'll be getting really excited. Uh, yes, really looming fast. There you go, that's better. Don't want it to fall over. Yes, somebody said to me, it's not many weeks now, and I'm thinking, oh, it's coming quick now. It seems so far off, it's about three months off when, I first, when we first set this all up. And now, yeah, we're just, just about a month, so it's not long at all, guys. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. It's going to be great to meet some of you. Good boys. So it's going to be up in Scotland, up near Glasgow, and then we're going to be down by Birmingham. Uh, the Scotland date is set. I haven't set a date for... Uh, um, Birmingham yet but I have to do that so within the next week, week or so I've got to set a date so everybody knows what's happening and where we're all going to meet so yes it's going to be great it's going to be so much fun Ooh, here we go turn that off out come the pies right I think we can shut this one down guys I've got the camera I've got the apple pies I'll have two dogs in tow I'm sure Let's turn this kitchen light off. There we go. And we're going to sit in the front room. There we go. Gosh, it's really hot. <laughs> there we go. And in we go. Right, I will go through and check my messages. I haven't checked checked so many of them yet, but I will crack, ouch, crack on now and try and answer some so I know what's happening tonight. I'll try to stand the, um, the phone up, guys. If I twist the stand, it's better if I twist the stand the other way, that's better. There we go. Right. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've arranged another walk with my sisters. We were arranging this earlier. Um, my younger sister, my older sister, uh, we usually go for walks. and We have been out for a walk together for quite a while now. Not since before the wedding. That was the last time we went for a, a walk as a, a group of three. Uh, I've been out with both sisters in between this, but not again as all three of us. So that's arranged for uh, the 20th of this month on a Sunday. So we're gonna meet up and have a walk together. That's gonna be great. Looking forward to that. Um, let me turn the slippers off, guys. Oh, there they're off. Oh. <laughs> Can I get my legs up and get my legs covered? Oh, there you go. Um, oh, it's better. Oh, all colour coordinated now, look. <laughs> Mind snoop, please. Good boy. And get a little bit closer. There you go. Right, uh, what else can I tell you guys? Um, I've got a white cardigan on the other sofa that needs stitching up. That's the one where it's got a, a split in the sleeve. So I got myself a little bit of wool, a little bit of um, wool to sew up with. So I'm gonna do that this evening, I think. I'm gonna sit here. Uh, like a little granny <laughs> repairing my, my um, cardigan. Um, so that's going to be happening and I'm going to do my messages at the same time. Eat my apple pie, so um, yeah. <laughs> what do I call it? Multitasking. <laughs> I 
I've got the washing and the hoovering to do later as well before I go to bed. It's only half past eight at the moment, but it will soon fly by. I know it will soon be going to bed. My roses are still looking really stunning, guys. Look, they're over there on the uh, little table in front of the bay window. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They really are nice. And I set, I've got one of those, I, it's not a Yankee candle, but I got a candle in a jar the other day. And um, I thought that would be nice to have that in the front room because I've got an air freshener in the kitchen to make sure it doesn't smell doggy. And I thought I'd have one in the front room and it would give it a, a nice smell. I can't smell it. <laughs> I can't smell it. I lit it. I had it lit over the weekend. I haven't lit it this evening. I could do, uh, but it means I've got to go in the kitchen and get the lighter. <laughs> and I had to go and buy a lighter. I bought the candle, got it home, and I thought, I haven't got any matches. <laughs> and it's one of those that's in the jar. And I, I don't think even if I'd got a match, I'd be able to, to light it without burning my fingers. So I got one of those, um, like a gas lighter that you use on a stove. So it's got a real long stalk on it and I can light it with that. So I bought one of those so I could light my candle. Um, but I am going to have a go and see if I can get it to do something. M maybe other people will notice it, but I can't smell it. Yeah, I don't know if the Yankee candles are better. This is one I got from Audi, and it just looked nice. And I couldn't smell it. I took the lid off the jar and had to smell it in the shop, and I thought, well, I can't smell it. And I thought, well, maybe it's, it smells strong when you light it. Uh, but no, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so maybe the Yankee candles, you'll have to tell me, are the Yankee candles better than these aftermarket ones that I've got. I don't know, but it looks nice. <laughs> uh, it does when it's lit anyway, but it's not lit at the moment. So I might do that later, after I've had my apple pies and sewn up your bully pulley <laughs> and answered all my messages. Yeah, all right. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, I haven't got anything arranged for the weekend. I had my little diary out and I got this out. Um, this is something that was bought for me by my children when we went to France. We went to uh, Euro, Euro Disney and we got an Indiana Jones. Can you see that? Uh, Filofax. <laughs> it goes back a while, doesn't it? A Filofax. And uh, I keep all my bookings in there. And I booked my sisters in for the 20th, which is a couple of weeks away. And I thought, well, what have I got booked for um, next weekend? I've got nothing. It's clear. And I'm thinking... Blimey, <laughs> that doesn't help happen very often. Um, so yeah, I've got totally clear. The 12th and the 13th of December are totally clear. So I've got to find something to do. Um, I don't know what the weather's going to do. I haven't looked. I won't worry. It's too far ahead at the moment. I'll worry nearer the time. Um, but I have got projects to do. You know I can do things in the garden. I can do the fencing. I can do all sorts. But yeah, I've got nothing booked. Amazing. <laughs> it's not like me. And then the following weekend is when I've got the walk with my sisters. I have got to look at my son's car and I haven't booked him in yet. And that's, I should really send him a, I might send him a message this evening and see which week I'll get offering weekends. I can't do anything in the evenings because it's just so dark now. By the time I get home, feed the dogs and make my dinner, it's dark. So I can't do anything in the evenings and the mornings are too dark and I'm, I have to go to work anyway. So it'll have to be a weekend. So I think I'll give my son some options, some weekend options, and see what he comes up with. I hope he doesn't pick the tw Sunday the 20th, because that's when I'm going out with my sisters. But I bet he does. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And um, I don't know if I've put any dates in for November. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> I've got my Scotland. I've got Scotland booked. I've got Scotland booked for uh, Monday the 11th. Uh, Tuesday the 12th and Wednesday the 13th. I'm going up on the 11th. Uh, the 12th, which is the Tuesday, we do the greet and meet. And then the 13th is when I'm going to have to come home. So I'm up there for three days. Driving up there the first day, there the second day, and driving home on the, the third day. But then that gives me the rest of the week. That gives me the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do something else. And I've got to go to Birmingham and do a greet and meet at Birmingham. I'm not going to do that coming back from Scotland because that will be too much. I'll do that as a separate thing. I'll go home and then come back up to Birmingham. It's a two, two and a half hours away, so it's not a long, long way. Um, Scotland's about seven and a half, nearly eight hours. It's a long one, that one. So, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Please, I've got a little file of facts. <laughs> so yeah, it's not long now, guys. 
four and a bit weeks. Yeah. Oh, great. This is great. This is so good. Right, I'm going to put that back on the table and stop waffling. Um, I'm going to eat my apple pies now. I'm going to sign out. If you want to call out, please send me a message now, uh, this side of 10 o'clock, and there'll be the, the newer messages I get, and I'll go through and I'll write those down on a piece of paper. I'll try and go, I'm going to go on now and go backwards and see how many I can clear before the deadline. Uh, but there's going to be lots on there, I know there is. So I'm going to sign out now, guys. Love you to death, and I shall speak to you later on this evening. Okay, bye-bye for now.